the year better than expected. I'm really happy about it. I think because just leading up to it, because of how stressful it was and because this is a new situation that no one's been through, we didn't know what it was going to be like. So I kind of just expected the worst so that whatever came out of it, at least I wasn't too disappointed. I passed the English flying colours. That's easy. I'm um, very over the moon. You don't understand how, like, I can't describe it to words. I'm very shocked on how well I did, you know what I'm saying? Because I had low expectations for myself. So coming into this, I was very nervous. But once I opened my results, I got so happy. So I'm very over the moon. Um, I was expecting, but I'm also really still pleased and excited because I did work hard and I'm happy that the hard work paid off. At the beginning, it was very hard because um, I'm not used to learning from a computer screen and it was a bit um, discouraging because um, I'd find that I learned much better in an actual physical classroom. But um, at the end, it all worked out. And I did, I just did I, although it was harder, I did learn a lot from online learning. I think we worked really hard. We worked really, really hard, considering that we, we had to go through several lockdowns, and especially in year 10, from the big lockdown from May to March until September, I think that we had a very big disadvantage compared to usually, and the fact that our quality of learning wasn't the same as if we were in school. We're top of the pile, Ruby. There you go. Elizabeth. They're nearly there. Nearly there. Josh, is that a four? Oh. Well, with all the virtual learning and everything, it's just been a bit all over the place. It kind of feels like, like you don't know if you're actually deserving of the grades you've got because it's all like teacher assessed and that. you don't know if they're just doing you favours because they like you or if you've actually earned it. I think I'm, I'm really happy with myself because like last night I was worried, I was thinking, what am I going to get? I thought I'd flop science, but it was all right now. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. We expect all young people to be taking exams uh, in 2022, but we'll be making adjustments to those exams to reflect the fact that this cohort will have had disruption to their education as well. And the regulator Ofqual will be saying more about the grading standard that will be used uh, for those exams uh, in the autumn term. Inequality in education is unforgivable. We should all be aiming to close the gap um, uh, in terms of attainment. We had huge inequality um, before we went into this pandemic. It's just got worse. And a lot of that is down to the way that uh, the Education Secretary and the government have handled this. The net result is that the gap between those uh, private schools and state schools has got bigger. And when inequality goes up in education, then it's pretty astonishing that the Education Secretary is still in post. And if he won't resign, the Prime Minister should get rid of him.